You ever have that feeling um, in, in your work when you're getting ready to make a phone call and you get that feeling in your stomach because you're a little bit afraid or a little nervous or you're a little concerned about what they might say, right? You're uncomfortable. It's a feeling of being uncomfortable. And if you've worked in this business for one day, you know what I'm talking about, unless you are like the 0.0001% of people who just don't get uncomfortable. <laughs> they just don't get uncomfortable about stuff. But, you know, you were new and uh, you were thinking about what people would think and da, 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 all the stuff that goes on in your head. So when you're brand new, you're, you understand the feeling, but maybe sometimes you forget about that feeling or it surfaces again at different times. But the bottom line is I want to focus on the feeling for a second. Whenever you have that feeling, that feeling that just you think about doing something and then you start to get that feeling, oh, it's uncomfortable. I want you to think about this. That is an indicator that you absolutely have to do the thing, the make the call that is making you feel that way because that's a sign of growth. Because only through doing the uncomfortable do you grow. When I first started making a phone call it was so painful for me because it's it's counterintuitive to my personality to make an a, approach conversational call with someone back then because I felt like I was being invasive. I was worried about what people would say. I had all this stuff going on and I was a shy person with low self-esteem, blah, 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 blah. And so I had, I mean, every day full of discomfort. But the more I worked and the more I did things, the, the, the less I had that feeling. It doesn't mean I don't ever get it. I still get it in, in different things in my life, very rarely relative to a phone call, but I still get that feeling. And I know immediately that's an indicator of a possibility for personal growth. So think about that. Whenever you get that feeling, that's an opportunity to grow. You can choose to grow or you can give in to the feeling. But if you give in to the feeling, that means you don't do the thing you thought about doing. And when you don't do the thing you thought about doing, you're going to look back on that and go, I wonder what would have happened. And that is not a good habit to get into. You'd rather have errors in your life because you tried something than to have the error of not taking the steps.